Hi there and welcome to the new tutorial for dates course and in this tutorial we will going to talk about the fifth topic which is the date range function. So date range function is helpful in identifying the range between the two different dates and this range can be based on the day, week, month or year. So if this is something what you are looking for as a solution then this tutorial is something which we're going to explain you with the help of two different date range functions. So let's start with the first function which is the date diff and as it is pretty straightforward it finds difference between the two dates. So what it takes is the date part which can be your year, month, week or day. Then you have the date 1, you have the date 2. Here you can specify the start of the week which can be either Sunday, Monday or any other week based on the time or based on the weekday or weekend that, that is being followed in your country. So the definition says that it returns the difference between two dates based on the date part which can be day, week, month etc which I explained earlier. So a couple of examples to show over here. One is this. So what we have specifying date part as the week, the first date is the 22nd September 2013, the another date is 24th September 2013 and if it is Monday then returns 1. Why? Because 22nd of September is basically the Sunday and uh, it is and if the week is starting from Monday then it is the previous week. So a difference between the previous week and this week will be the 1. Right. Similarly, the same example, if we change the Monday to Sunday, then the 22nd will fall in the same week as it is the 24th and that's why they are in the same week. So there will not be any difference. You can check it with your calendar uh, for this particular example, but that's what it reflects. Now let's look at the second example or the second function, which is the date add. So here, this is the date part which is again day, week, month or year. Then you have the interval and then you have the date. So what it does, it adds the dates based on the date part specific. So for example, we want to add three months to this date, which is 15th April 2014. And if we add the three month, it becomes 15th July 2014. And if no time is specified, it will by default take the 12 a.m. which is the start of the day. So let's see how we can create uh, the or how we can use the date diff and date add within the tableau and get the desired output out. So what I have over here is the sample superstore data set which comes by default with the tableau. And over here if you see, I have taken the order date. So you can have this aggregation or you can have a particular date uh, up to us what we want. So let's say I have taken this particular date and I want to create a new field which is the years or let's call it number of years. And here I will provide the date diff function within the date part I will say for this date part I will say year. And the start date will be the order date and the end date will be the today's date. So in that way it will be dynamic. By default, uh, uh, we, we don't have to really provide the start of the week but if we need we can even provide that. So for now I will just leave it blank and click apply and OK. And if I just bring it over here, you will see that uh, for a particular date it gives issues like uh, it's not able to identify very clearly but in certain cases it gives us so the best way to look at this information is uh, by coming it over here and over here we we don't have to use the any aggregation or anything otherwise it will create issues so what we need to do is we need to change it to a discrete and uh, need to change it to a dimension and that way what you will going to get is the non-aggregation and now the value is out. So once we do, do that we can even um, go back to the previous setting which is the day and uh, let's make it discrete and now if you will see the information is correct for all the various dates. 
So just need to make sure that no aggregation is present. Otherwise, it will give you an issue. But we can always correct it by removing the aggregation and make converting this number of years to the dimension. So that's one example. However, this number of years we can always uh, add it. And if we want, let's say month, then we just change the month over here. And very easily we will be able to get the number of month. Just need to make sure that you are changing the name also to the from number of years to the number of months. Now, once we have done that, we can also have something called as a date addition. So let's call adding months or adding years. And for this, the function that we had seen is the uh, is the date at. And the date part is, let's say we want to add month. So let's add month. How many months we want to add is let's say 12. And what is our date is order date. And we'll click apply and OK. Now this is present over here. And if we just put it over there, what it is giving you is the year. But what I need is this date. So it will create again the continuous. So we need to just make sure that we are changing it to a discrete. And over here we are, yeah, so discrete is good. So now if you see what you are getting is January 2017. Once we add the 12 month over here, we can check the actual date as well by coming over here and clicking the date. So from 3rd January 2017, we have changed to 3rd January 2000, sorry, from 2016 to 2017. So like I mentioned, you have various different options that can be added to the date part, like the year, date, month, even the hour and second and all of those sort of things. If you want to add as part of the date part and on the tab you help, you will going to find a lot of same settings. So from here, you can go to the open help or get not the get support. If you have the license, you will going to get it. But open help, this will open up the help and look for the date part. So let me quickly show you. So over here, if you see the date part is present, which is year, month, day of year, day, you know, the different date part values. And if I have to show you, this is basically the link on the help.w.com. If you just search for the dates, you will going to get the, the various date part values. So from here, you can find this information and get it specified in the W function. So that's mainly I wanted to show you the two different function for creating of date range or adding the range to the dates or identifying how many days uh, or months or years that is present between two dates and get the desired output of the analysis done for your requirements. Now in the next topic, we will be looking at date initiation or baseline function, which helps, you know, initiate the date to a start of the month or the quarter or the year. So we'll look at that.